Welcome to um, Alive and a massive thank you to this fella because I'm, ho I'm hogging Mr. Crummy Beard. I'm hogging his. He needs to sit on this side of the table. Stealing my internet. I'm Stop hogging right. his, um, his internet. He's, he's, the he's on 5G, so Stuck he's, po the bench. he's posher than me. <laughs> so we're at the Blue Monkey Brewery um, Craft Beer Lawn. So We've got a few people from Blue Monkey Brewery as well. We've got Blue Monkey on the t-shirt, so they obviously are from Blue Monkey. So, and Amanda. Amanda from, Craft, uh, from Blue Monkey. And we've also got Joe from Blue Monkey. And the dog Woof. from Blue Monkey. And uh, I don't know if anybody's commenting at the moment because I can't see no comments. So I'll go on mine and I'll, I'll feel comments while you... Uh, yeah, yeah so yes, I don't know where the comments are. So it's alive, and uh, here we are. And uh, is this man here? What are you this drinking? Is Tim. Drinking New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. New Hampshire. Whoa. Here we so, go. David Thompson's in. He says afternoon. Maggie. Afternoon, David. Afternoon, Max. Max is and uh, there you go. it's a little bit wet over here in Nottingham. It's a bit. Uh, we do need the rain though, so you know these things happen. And uh, hello to this lovely lady. Who's just around. <laughs> no, come out of the way, you'll get wet. I'll angle the camera out of the way. <laughs> so, me and Mr. Crummy Beard have drank probably seven or eight. Speak, speak for yourself. I'm not a dumb yeah. Seven or eight. He's he's had more than me. Yeah. yeah, he's bigger than me. Is that Mr. Beard? It is, Mr. Crummy Beard. It is me on the channel. Yes, and, yes uh, David, it is me. In the background over there is Red Dog Brewer, who's got a lot of YouTube, he's hiding out of the way. But uh, some other blokes come out, I don't know who he is. But anyway, so, peeing it, peeing it down with Reggie, yeah, it's, it's chucking it down here. But as a gardener, we need the rain, you know. We do need the rain. It is a moist day. And uh, here we go. I'll get him off the camera because, well, the camera keeps moving. So, that's me wobbling the camera. You, st you started alive and I've run out of beer. I'm going to go to the right. It needs to get some more beer. I need to get some more beer. What shall I, what shall I get? So the uh, the beers I got on tap here at the um, at the inaugural launch event are... Raggy's about to go through. So, on this event, we've got Congo 5% craft lager, tasting absolutely spot on. I might have that yet. I might have that next. Reviews are coming. We've got New Hampshire 6% Nipa. That That's is incredible. super smooth, tropical. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's very nice. New Zealand 4.2% pale. I have not tried that yet, so that's one to try. It's not on tap though. No, so it's a can jobby. Can jobby, that uh, Ginger ale 8.6%. percent got to be honest, 8.6%. percent Whoa, I love ginger beer. That's, that's hero juice, and, that uh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely spot on. Um, we've got Mexican mole 7%. I think is my beer of the of the launch and uh, wow. here we go so we'll, we'll get the blue monkeys on with us because they're sitting in the background and we don't want them feeling feeling um, out the way we've also got Roush beer smoked and uh, good evening Thomas oh, good beer afternoon good. Thomas uh, was that was good. absolutely stunning we've also got a peach margarita ghost and again um, Dan as, as, and Keir have delivered amazingly. We've also got the cherry, the Belgian cherry stout. And uh, good evening, Christopher. So, uh, I'm eating some hot sausages. Sausage from is Savage Barbecue in the background. Guys over there behind my head. There you go. Yeah, they've been doing uh, hot link, hot link, hot dogs, and chicken shawarma wap, wrap, waps, wraps, waps, waps. Uh, that's a different thing. Um, uh, uh, the, the the sausage was incredible. The way up. It nearly got taken out by a can and a menu there, but uh, yep. right, cool. you need to finish that sausage. I've eaten far too much of it today. Right? Yeah, that's a sausage. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Cheeky from man with his thingy out, Greg. Yeah, <laughs> I've got my thingy out. So we're in Nottingham. It's absolutely trucking down. Um, but we're the craft beer launch. So here's everybody in the background. Say hello, everybody. Yeah. 
Big waves. Everyone's Where's waving. Joe? <laughs> Wave awkwardly. It's the best way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Uh, <laughs> why are we here? What? And, and obviously. Way up. It's a very fluffy dog making a high pitch noise. That bloke with that. But, um. Yeah. So, we're at Blue Monkey's Craft Beer Launch. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that is. I've no idea what's going on. It's, it's a fluffy dog. Is, that, is, it, is it the dog or is it the bloke? It's the dog. It's the dog. <laughs> it's the dog, right? It's the dog. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dog that looks. A, a dog that's so fluffy. It looks a little bit like a newborn penguin. Oh, bless it. <laughs> it's very cute. I can't decide what breed it is, though. So that's my. Oh. Well, that's chaos. So. Yes. <laughs> Have fun with that one. <laughs> so, well, the guy who opted to have three huskies, that's an idiot choice. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, beautiful things, but he loves his dogs, but he's Indeed. feeling a bit rough. Oh, oh dear. Braggy. <laughs> Hello from Japan. Wow. What time is it in Japan? Wow, what time is it? Yeah, what time is it in well, Japan? It's 3 a.m., sure. I mean, it's, um, it's got to be a bit late in Japan, surely. Oh, very early. And, uh, All right, I need to go get more beer. What do I go? So it's either going to be the lager or the Roush beer, I think. Uh, I would go either New Hampshire, Roush I, I, beer. I've had them all already, so I'm a bit like... Well, I've not had the lager today. I had it a few weeks ago. Go for the lager. Yeah, 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 go for the right, lager. I'll go for the lager. Yeah. We've got an hour left. We've got time for two. Almost midnight. So it's yeah. almost midnight yeah, over yeah. Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Play on him. So... I'm drinking the um, Belgian Cherry Stout, 7%. Here we go. And uh, yeah, it's a bit sad that it's boring down, you know. We are in England and uh, the weather is never kind to us at this time of the year. And it's nice to be live on the channel. Um, although the uh, it's moved, we're moving along so much that uh, I do apologise to everybody watching. Please don't be drinking and watching this this beer with you because uh oh bless. It's a bit sad in some ways that uh, it's it's chucking it down so much when you're bringing out a new uh, range of craft beers. But um I've gotta say that uh, every, all the beers are tasting absolutely spot on. I know that the brewer, because he was he, uh, he was from Navigation Brewery, he's now over at Blue Monkey. Um, and Navigation Brewery. So yeah, I'm at Blue Monkey Brewery in Giltbrook in Nottingham. So there's Blue Monkey there. So I'm at their craft beer launch. Um, eight different beers across keg and can. They're all in can, but a lot of them are on keg as well. And uh, uh, this is a local brewery to me anyway, Nottingham. And uh, they're all tasting absolutely spot on. Um, I've got a load of reviews to come on the channel, but uh, They'll happen when I get back home, when I'm in, when I'm in the warm and dry, because it ain't dry here, <laughs> and it ain't warm either. But, uh, cheers all. Belgian yeah. cherry yeah, 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 yeah. So, here he is. I'm here. Mr. Crummy right is then. on this. It's lovely to have, and to be fair, there's actually three beer reviewers here today, so there's me, obviously me, you're on my channel, so, yeah. And uh, there's Mr. Crummy Beard, and in the background, there's Mr. Red Dog Brewer. Over there, somewhere, that way, yeah. over there. There's in the background. Yeah. A, uh... Gosh, everyone's left. Everyone's gone. Yeah. This is yeah. a <laughs> Congo Craft Lager at oh, yeah. a solid, I think it's 4%, I'm just checking my notes. Uh, sorry, it's only 5%, Congo. Yeah. 5% um, on the nose, Congo Craft Lager. So I tried this, but it was a bit young. I had this about a month or two ago, about six weeks ago probably, and it was very nice, but it was a bit 
like kind of floral young lager flavour. Yeah. Apparently now it's a lot better. So we'll find out. So it, sa so it says it's a keen, crisp, Czech style pilsner. Um, using British malt to provide a grainy and slightly bready malt base. And checks SARS hops, which give a slight fruitiness and a hint of spice. That has changed massively in about four weeks. Yeah. Beer does, I mean. Oh, no, but that is, that's, it was nice before, but it had that slightly, there's, there's a thing about British breweries in lager that doesn't always gel. No. And they come out with the, it's something that's half lager, half fruity pale. Right, and it had that four weeks ago. It wasn't bad by any means, but it uh, was. I'm not sort of thing. He's going for a right. Raggy's going for a pee. I'm going to hold his thingy. <laughs> We're going to, oh, hold on, got, that's an interesting different angle there. Um, oh, oh no, thingy. it's all gone wrong. It's turned round. Hold on. Are we back? We're upside down. There we go. That's right. Anyway, uh, I had this about four weeks ago. Yeah, it had that kind of weird, not weird, it's the wrong word, but that kind of almost hybrid lager thing going on. Uh, but Right now, that is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Very nice indeed. Um, for those of you watching Raggy's channel going, why is there a bold bearded man on here? Well, uh, my name's Tom. How you doing? Uh, I am the Crummy Beard. That's my YouTube channel name, if you've not come across it before, go say hello. Uh, but I'm just filling in for Raggy while he goes over there to the port loose because that is the kind of classy establishment uh, we are running at. Um, of course, this is a functioning brewery. You don't have toilets for the general public, so I have to do something in my. That was the fastest visit I've ever seen. He's back. Look at him. It was a long break, but it was a week. There you go. He's back in. Cheers. I can, I can continue holding it for a bit. Give you. A you can start drinking. Rest. Twelve o'clock, to be fair. Yeah. Midday. I was about here. I was here about quarter past twelve because of the traffic. Yeah, it wasn't long after. Yeah, there was a bit. There was a bit of traffic out, out in yonder, and. Uh, yeah, it's been a good day. A good brewery, you know, a traditional brewery that's going into craft. Um, it's a bold step. They've certainly invested. What I like is, one, they've invested. Two, they've got a great promotional team that are looking after things. Three, they've got bloody fantastic breweries. Uh, brewers, rather. And uh, hello from New York City. Good afternoon from New York. And uh, let's hope it's warmer than the UK because it's absolutely <laughs> freezing here and it's chucking it down. I'm not sure it's freezing, but it is raining a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit cool on it's a bit cool on yonder. Just a bit. Just also just appreciate how many empty. Hold on, I'm doing that the wrong way. How many empty barrels are here? But also, that's not that's not one level deep either. They're like two, three pallets thick. That is a lot of barrels. Yeah, this is certainly a brewery that produce a lot of casks. They own four pubs. They're looking, as always, to go further. I personally hope, and my aspirations are, that they come closer to me in Sherwood with a craft slash cask bar in an old uh, bank, which would be amazing, you know. And. Uh, this, this is a brewery that I've followed since, wow, 2008. Yeah, easy. Yeah. I'm the same. Yeah, so, I can't remember. I think the first time we discovered Blue Monkey was the first Nottingham Beer Festival at the Castle. 2010. Is that the first one? Is that the first one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it might be the date. Yeah, somewhere around there. Oh, either you're doing a live later. You never know, mate. Who? You never know. Yeah, a bit hard, hard to say at this point. It depends how long this depends, goes. It depends how much we get drunk and uh, how drunk we are. And also, um, yeah, I've got the hidden thing of why my wife and uh, whatnot. So uh, the, the, the food people are going. They're off. Bless them. Savage yeah. barbecue. Well, not not been as busy as probably what they what we all yeah. devote for, but their their food, their sausages. Wow, look at that. The food oh. was incredible. Unfortunately, I think the weather probably prevented more people from coming yeah. and they probably didn't get the business they wanted. But if you happen to watch this back, Savage Barbecue, the sausage was insanely good. So, yeah. Joe's doing so. Here's Joe. She's not in Blue Monkey uniform, but she's doing a live for Blue Monkey. We're going to follow her around. Yeah, there she is. And Crummy Beard. 
Hi Joe. Hold we'll on. Review in our beers. There she is. We're going live inception now. <laughs> it's live on live action. Live on live. What more can you ask for? There you go. That's what happens. She's gone with a very, very cute little dog. Look at the dog. Yeah, you can't beat a cute little dog. Bless him. But, uh, you know, from the day here, I will drag the camera around the bar. So we see the bar, we see the canning area. And it's been a great day, you know, supporting locals, you know, for, for both of us is really important. Absolutely. You know, if we all support our locals, then all the beer community survives. And what's going to be a very interesting winter, yeah, you know. A, a, there's and a, there's he a, is. a brewer in shop. Uh, he's a good, he's <laughs> Mr. Brewing Monkey Brewery himself. He's got a good name though, hasn't he? <laughs> Yeah. We we'll won't we'll keep the camera on you for too long. We're going out the new range, your top three. Uh, your favourite beers, come on. The New Hampshire. Right, yeah. It's very good. Uh, the Rouch beer. Right, yeah. Also very good. interesting. I like the Mexican Merle. Ooh, it's solid. strange because for me, me being me, we're all different. Every one of us is different across the beer community. But for me, the Mexican mole was my favourite, followed by the ginger beer. I forgot about the ginger. Yeah, the ginger. <laughs> yeah, the ginger, <laughs> the ginger is good. How can you forget about the and ginger beer? It's so good. <laughs> maybe in third, the New Hampshire. Maybe, I've not tried the New England, New Zealand rather, yet, but that's on my list to try. What's yours? So, the ones I've tried so far, and you've, he's very good at holding this camera. Hey, top right, right. <laughs> uh, the ones I've tried so far, it's got to be the, um, the, the what am I going to go for? So uh, the, the ginger beer at the whopping 8.6 or whatever it is, takes the top spot yeah. for sure. I need to give him some um, baggage ginger beer. The Roush, the Roush goes, I think, I think it takes second place. And then third, I'm torn between the goes and the um, the New Hampshire. That's interesting. I think the New Hampshire is probably a better beer. Yes, it does have chili in it. Yeah. Oh, there you are. But you know, there's always I don't know. So I'm, I'm a little bit on but I've not properly reviewed the Mole yet. I've not properly reviewed the Belgian cherry yet. I've sampled them slightly, but I'm not not enough to give an, a definitive. And I think those two will actually end up very much in the top three but I think when we're, when we're looking at reviewing beers in in this room you know you can give a, a, a certain review when you're at home in your own environment you can give a full-on review the, the best reviews are not from Tatman the best reviews are from home uh, where there's no outside interferences um, every, you know, you're in a warm room, well, not that, not that my beer room is warm, but um, not this time of the year, cheers, go ahead. Keep it on the shot, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying bye to people. But uh, yeah, it's been a cracking, it's been a cracking event. I will take the camera and take you around the room in a minute, and because uh, I'm empty anyway, so I need some more beer and um, I'm going to get a pint of summer. Summer to out, but, uh, and then show you around the Blue Monkey Brewery and uh, show you the good people that work here. Like all breweries, you know, they, they, are, they are local people um, brewing great beer. Four pubs on their list at the moment, at least. There may be more. And uh, the, what I do love about Ian, who I speak to on a regular basis, uh, Ian is one of the sales directors of the company and they're always trying to push forward. It's all about pushing forward. You would anyway, in any business. And uh, they're a good brewer. And they deserve, you know, to go further. And uh, I'm sure Mr. Cummy Beard will echo my... Um, I, I, I feel like I'm becoming a caricature of myself at some <laughs> point when it comes to Blue Monkey. Cause I'll be honest, if, I, if you force me to pick one brewery to live with for the rest of my life and only drink their beer, it's this one right here, which is on a weird little industrial estate on the outskirts of Nottingham, but I absolutely next love it. Ikea. I can't, yeah, next to Ikea. I can't explain quite enough how much I appreciate their beer and have done for many years, far beyond my 
uh, beer reviewing years anyway. I've been a big fan for a very, very long time. Um, so I'm just trying to get the message out to people to try it if they get the chance because they mm. are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, with this, with what they're doing today, their craft beer range, a traditional brewery going into craft beer is a, a daunting thing. You know, we see this across the UK. And, um, you know, um, going into craft beer, you obviously, as a traditional brewery, you've already got a good name. As a craft beer brewery, it's like, who are these? You know, who are you? And, uh, you know, but already today, because of the brewers they've got on the premises, they're delivering fantastic beers. And uh, you can't fault that. From day one, seven or was it eight beers? It was eight released today. Yeah. Eight beers. Eight. Yeah, hands are going fly. Hands hands are going going There's one that's gone on the floor. Yeah. Get up in a but uh, <laughs> yeah, they're doing well. Doing well. This is a good release date. Apart from the fact it's took it down. Yeah, yeah but. but I'm a cold. <laughs> right, it's the last day of September. You can't really, uh, you can't really expect much. Weather's, the weather's the weather. Yeah, you know. there's the weather. Yeah, we do need the rain. Simple as that. Oh, hold on. Ayo. It's all gone wrong. Ayo. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> oh, I was doing so well. Right, uh, Raggy needs a pint. He's going to go and take you for a little tour around the bar. Let's, let's go for a beer. Meanwhile, so, I'm going to tidy up the cans that all blown over. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. You mean beer, oh beer, surely? Yeah, in, <laughs> indeed. So, here we are. So, it's raining, as we know. And uh, here's the shop. So, oh dear. Here we are, live on YouTube. We're in the shop. So, there's all the trad bears on the wall behind me. All the way to the floor, and uh, oh, there's the great people who make the top. Hello. So we're going for a tour. Once they fall over and break my bloody neck, but they get oh, God. not good when you've had a beer. So here we are in Blue Monkey Brewery, and uh, hey, that's a nice photo. So. Lots of people. Good afternoon yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all beer people, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oh. So there's some of the tanks. There's more of the tanks. So for for a brewery, wow, do they pack some stuff in? Offices are over there. There's somebody in the office in the background. Not that I'm nosy, but I'm trying to see who it is. <laughs> As you do. Here's the people. Please don't drop my phone. Hello, people. And uh, here we are again. So, so a proper look round Blue Monkey Brewing. There it is. This is the good name brewing. There it is. This is the bloke who, this is the bloke who's making all the craft beers at Blue Monkey Brewing. And uh, also he's got his own off line thing called Good Name Brewing. The Bang the Elephant and uh, you know, it was an amazing beer. I hope to see more collaborations at some stage. And hopefully when he gets his brewing gear updated because of uh, issues, um, you know, good name brewing, want to keep your eye out on the internet. And uh, in the background, because uh, we're not letting them get away with it today, there they are, Blue Monkey Brewery. In the background. <laughs> yeah, you've got to try that. <laughs> so, the Blue Monkey Brewery. And uh, there's Joe and Doggy. Woof woof. <laughs> so we'll go down the stairs. Ooh. 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 
That was close. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. You saw it happen live. Oh, fucking hell. And there we are. The lads nearly had the greatest laugh ever. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. I'm glad there's not that many watching, but later there might be, you know. Cause when you go live and uh, so many watching, and later on a lot more watching. And, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, and then it went also over tit down Blue Monkey Stairs. Yeah. These things happen. Fucking hell. That would have been naughty. So, here we are, in the Blue Monkey Tap Room area. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> On YouTube? And here he is, Mr. Red Dog. There we go. I just, I just walked down the steps and nearly went off oh, so the down the steps. <laughs> On camera. <laughs> oh, New England down the eight. And uh, here's the bar area, so I'll move away from the other door. So. Blue, blue monkey live. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the bar area. We're into the canning area. And, uh, so, I can't say anything further because the phone dies. But, yeah, I'm actually using crummy beards. Um, is the pitch quality okay on this one? I'm actually using Crummy's um, uh, internet, 5G internet. So yeah, that's the back of that's the back of back of Blue Monkey, and uh, here we are at the front of Blue Monkey as well. So hello to everyone in the bar, <laughs> and uh, I need to buy a beer. Yeah. No, just good. Lots of people don't like being on camera. Can I have a half a junior eight? Thank you. So, there you go. Now, go and sit down. Talk on camera. Sat down. So, junior eight. Four point four percent. Never seen that one before. To be fair. Yeah. 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 There we go. So I'm actually paying. Yeah. Thank you. So there you go. So, there we go. He puts his mistakes up as well. Yeah. And that means yeah. you move yeah. on. There we go. That girl's hiding away from the camera. And, uh, oh, hell. Put my beards outside, thank God. So. Yeah, ignore me. He's doing it live. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, Blue Monkey Burby, and welcome to all the people. It's a bit damper than what we'd all want, but uh, we need the rain, you know, simple as that. That junior eight is absolutely spot on. Have you had the, have you had it as the hazy, American hazy yet? No. The can. So they're doing cans, of, so the first, the first run out of the canning line, was American Hazy, which is that beer but unfined, oh my and a slight bit more hot but not much. But it's, it's the same it's beer. It's bitter. I can tell that. But it's a very good session beer. So it's weird. It's a weird one. The first few sips, probably probably bitter. Wait till you get to the end of that, and you can taste nothing but just like nice pale fruit. And there you go. So me and Mr. Crummy over at Blue Monkey and Red Dog Brewer in the background somewhere. He's in there somewhere. He's in there somewhere. Oh, not where he is, but got lost. Yeah, he's in there somewhere. Obviously, Nottingham people supporting Nottingham Brewery doing craft beer, you know. And uh, 30 minutes in, wow. So, 
massive thank you to Mr. Cummy Beard for borrowing his uh, 5G um, connection I hope today. It's been sufficient. And uh, Benjamin said it was okay to be fair, didn't you, Benjamin? Good, good. So that, that's good because me and the internet is, is, is a massive <laughs> bone of contention across my channel. You know, the, the issues I have with internet, um, obviously, I don't do beer reviews from the house, so I do beer reviews from the shed. And it's, you know, it's 30 yards away from the house, which creates issues. But uh, yeah, great day down here. And uh, Top stuff. thank you all for watching and uh, seeing. Cheers, everyone. Blue Monkey Brewery. And uh, they've done well, you know, in the grand scheme of things. They have if, if we're being honest, truly honest, what they've done today, they've gone from being a traditional brewery, which they are, an award winning traditional brewery, stepping into craft beers. Um, it's not an easy market to step into. I've, I've said this on the channel um, about other local breweries doing it and uh, it's all about perception and you know but they've done well their breweries um, got your card number now Fuck, don't say that <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> yeah. Yeah, you won't get anywhere anyway <clears throat> yeah we haven't told you <laughs> fuck's sake but anyway, yeah, um, yeah, they've done well. They've done very well. And uh, if you're ever considering trying something new, try these guys. I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed. And, uh, and that's it from today. You know, I'm going to carry on drinking for a bit before the wife comes and picks me up. And I'm still sober. But there's a good thing. And uh, uh, maybe, it's not, lie, it's nothing else. maybe not till later. <laughs> but there you go. But anyway, yeah. Thank you for joining us, you, folks. all of us from Blue Monkey Brewery, including Joe over there who's got a pint in the van. He's not looking at the camera. He's not looking, <laughs> he's not looking at all. Yeah. You've got to be a beer drinker and have a pint in the hand, don't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, there we go. So, yeah. Uh, thank, thank you for joining us at this Blue Monkey Brewery um, craft beer launch. Cheers, all. Oh, thank you for that.